Nairobi Senator Edwin Safuna on Wednesday, June 21, hinted that Azimio is gearing up to hit the streets after the controversial finance bill was passed in Parliament. In an interview with Radio Citizen, Safina regretted that the political formation led by Rayla Olinger made an unsuccessful attempt to oppose the bill in Parliament. As a result, their only remaining option was to call for mass protests. The legislator further remarked that unlike in the past, the return of mass protests would see thousands of Kenyans take to the streets regardless of their political affiliations. In previous instances, when Azimio organized demonstrations to protest against the high cost of living, that saw a substantial turnout, the demos were predominantly concentrated in opposition strongholds. Safuna noted that the second wave of protests would have a national outlook since every Kenyan would feel the pinch of the high cost of living due to increased taxation. The Nairobi senator noted that mass action was the only way President William Ruto's government will listen to the grievances of Kenyans. He revealed that the Kenya-Kwanzaa side of the bipartisan talks failed to honor the meetings and on the seldom times they showed up, they were not keen on tackling issues affecting Kenyans. Safuno added that the mass protests would be voluntary and those happy with the government could stay at home. The Finance Bill passed on Wednesday, June 21, proposed increased taxation to raise revenues the government argued it needed to fund development projects. Some of the proposed taxes include, a 16% value added tax on fuel, a housing fund tax and a withholding tax for content creators. <laughs> Maandamano ya tawashawishi Wacha ni kueleze Unajua sauti ya wanaichi ni sauti ya mungu mm. Na ni sauti kubwa kushinda sauti za wawakilishi wao Mimi na amini ndani ya roo yao Ya kwamba wale ambao wananifikishia hizi ya rafa wananiambio mkwenye Nimeyaona mimi mwenye Hakuna kitu ambacho kinavunja mwoyo zaidi You know it is very humiliating my friend Wewe wa mke leo uombe mwana umimungine shilingi ya mwoyo Ati ya kunungulia watoto wako chakula Do you know what it Yani ulazimu ukume fika chini Hauna kingine. Utoe tu ile namba unajua useme huyu jamani tamuomba fedha. It is very humiliating as a man, even as a woman. So, kama kweli this is the true situation, mimi I want to see a reflection of that anger of the people when we call for these demonstrations because kwa sababu hakuna njia nyingine ambayo watu wanaweza kusikia. Na nimeona katika mataifa mengi wale viongozi ambao wamekataa kuwasikiza wananchi. Tumeona katika ma- mataifa ya mabara Asia ukule dini kule Tunisia ile kitu ilikuwa inaitwa Arab Spring ya 2015 ilianza kwa sababu ya ongezeko ya bei ya uh, unga wa mkate so hawa jamaa wasichukulie kwamba mambo haya ni, ma, ni, ma, ni, ni mambo ambayo si mazito na kitu ambacho ninataka kuwaonya ni afadhali sisi wana azimio tuendelee kuitisha haya maandamano kwa sababu wewe unanijua unaweza kuniita useme sifuna njoo tuzungumze wakati ambapo wananchi wataamua kuchukua hatua zao mbali na tofauti na mirengo ya kisiasa hapo ndio watakuwa na shida kwa sababu utampigia nani simu utamuongelesha nani eti mkuje tuzungumze wakati hada hapa kwamba wako tayari kuzungumza haya sisi hapo tukawekwa kwenye kikosi mimi nikiwemo nikawaambia kwamba mimi langu ni moja tu kama mnataka mazungumzo haya yafaulu tuzungumze kwanza juu ya mambo ya unga wakati ambapo unga umeshuka chini tunaweza kuzungumzia mambo mengine jamaa wanatupeleka tu left right kuingia wanatupa chai na mandazi nikana kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tunaweza kudanganywa na chai na mandazi pale bomas wa, hawaji mikutano wanakuja wamechelewa wakiingia pale wadele, wanaonekana nikana kwamba hawana instructions kutoka kwa wadosi wao sisi wanaazimio tumekuja tumejipanga tunatoa hizi alternatives ambazo wa Kenya wao wanatujisha kila wakati kweli sivuna ni mtu wa kushindwa kutengeneza mswada wa kubadilisha jinsi ambavyo IBC inaweza kutengenezwa tayari tuko nao pale wakifika pale Hawana habari, hawajui nini kinaendelea. Sisi tukarudi tukaambia vinara wetu hawa jamaa wanatumalizia wakati. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ukiangalia kile kikosi ambacho azimio ilituma kwenye yale mazungumzo, wewe niambie tu kama unaweza kukombea na kikosi cha Kenya kwanza. Pale tulituma watu ambao ni serious, watu ambao wanajua kile kitu ambacho wanaenda kufanya. Kwa hivyo tukasema hakuna haja nizidi kuwadanganya wa, wa Kenya. Mimi nimewaambia Melody, Na. siku zote nitakuja kusema ukweli hapa. Hata mkitaka mniapishe kabla ya kipindi hichi, mm. nitafanya. Lakini siwezi kuwadanganya wa Kenya kwamba wewe oh, kuna mazungumzo yanaendelea. 
ili hali pale ni chai na maandazi. Na ilizikani. 